Hello friends, welcome to another video. This is going to be two part videos. In the first part, I'm going to show certain techniques, how you can compare a selected customer sales with the another customer. And end of the video, I will explain what is going to be in the second part. So here, here is the question. So we have a sales by customer and the user wanted that if we select a customer in the slicer, you want to compare that customer uh, sales with another customers. There are two ways we are going to solve this. And one way is um, using a disconnected table and then use that as a slicer. And we will look into the advantage and disadvantage of, of that. And the second way is still we will use a disconnected table, but we will use the customer dimension as the slicer, but the disconnected table for the visualization. Uh, let's get into Power BI and look at the sample data set and the, both the techniques of which, how we can achieve this. Okay, so here we have a very simple uh, data set. And just to quickly show you guys, uh, I have a, a table, sales table and the client dimension, which is one to many relationship, of course. And then I also have another table called client slicer which is basically a disconnected table and giving a list of unique clients. Um, so in the visualization here, what I have is a, a client as a slicer for my client dimension and then sim uh, visualizing the data. So this is working as expected, but uh, what we want to do here is if I select a customer C, I don't want my matrix to be your table visual to get filtered, but I want it to be show the client C in a different color and so that I can compare the one which I want. So the, as I said, the, you, we can achieve this with the disconnected table very easily. So I'm moving this client um, slicers away and then let's use this client slicer and then use it from the disconnected table, uh, slicer from the disconnected table. So now what this is gonna do is like if we slice anything here, it's not going to do anything in our matrix visual because this is a disconnected table Whereas the, if we use it from dimension, of course, it's filtering our matrix visual. So now it, it's pretty straightforward from here. Let's say the selected, uh, we can create a simple measure here. Uh, selected client color. So what we can do here is if selected value from our client slicer, selected value from client slicer table, the client is equal to max of the one which we're visualizing from our dimension table here, client, dim client, then the color is yellow, for example. So basically what we are saying here is, whatever I'm selecting in this slicer from my disconnected table, but in this particular matrix visual, I am using my uh, dimension table client from a dimension table and the sum volume so what I'm saying is when this value this uh, value of this client is equal to value of the selected client then make the color yellow now I can highlight my sum visual what we can do here is let's change it to a bar chart all right so what we can do here is simply go to data colors use fx and then pick the field value. So the measure which we created selected client color. Okay. So what it is going to do is whatever is selected that is turned into yellow. So we are comparing the value of the selected client uh, with the other clients. Now there's a one challenge with this particular approach. Let's say we have a different more visuals on the page and we want that when we use a slicer, uh, the slicer should filter those visuals like on the client uh, and but this particular comparison one should not filter. So with this with this approach, uh, let's say if we have a matrix visual here or simply we are showing some other data, let's say we go in a client dim, we pick the client here and then uh, oh, come on. And then we're using a sales some volume now let's say we have two visuals on the page 
And this one is showing the comparison, but this one is a different video showing some other stats by client. But when we are selecting a client, it is not filtering any of this because we are using the client from the disconnected table. Whereas if we use this one, uh, this will filter now both the visuals because this is connected to our, this is a dimension table. So how we overcome the situation where we want the slicer should work of the client, it should filter all the visuals on the page, but the one which is with the comparison uh, should not filter. So to do so, we're gonna tweak our measure a little bit, uh, we're gonna do our measure a little bit differently. So what we're going to do differently? So let me show you. So we will not use the disconnected table as a slicer. So we will remove this one because we want our dimension table, which is filtering our um, uh, fact table. We will use that as slicer if we click B and so everything is getting filtered. So what we want is this visual should filter based on the selection on the client, but this visual which we want to compare, we don't want this to be get filtered. So the first and the foremost thing is what we're going to do is uh, we are going to uh, use the client for this particular visual, which we want for the comparison purposes, use the client value from the disconnected table. So if I use client value from disconnected table, of course, everything is going to be the same value because it is not filtering our fact table. All right. So let's write a measure uh, and uh, work from uh, what the new measure will look like. All right, so let's do this. Let's call it a sales compare V2. So what that would be calculate our a sum volume. So sum volume is just a simple sum. And then we want to apply filter on our client dimension table. Again, I will just explain what we're going to do here is values coming from client slicer client. Again, client slicer client, uh, client slicer table is a disconnected table, but used on the X axis of this visual comparison visual. And then what we're doing here is uh, we say client dim client. So just to confirm what we're doing here is, so we want, we are saying filter our client dimension table, which is connected with our fact table from our client slicer table, which is used on X axis. So when, uh, if, if you look in a, let's make me a little bit smaller. So when I'm at the row A here, so this is a client slicer. So what we are getting the value here is, we are getting the value A. So what that value A is doing is, then it is filtering because with the tree task, it's filtering the client dimension table. So when we filter client dimension table, it filters the fact table because it is connected to the fact table. So when we are at the column B here, and this is from client slicer, disconnected table. So the values return the client B, uh, a table of B, and that table filter then our client dim client table, which is further connected with our fact table. And that's, that's what is happening in this um, particular measure. So now if I use sales compare V2 on the visualization here, so let's bring that up here. And here you go. So now we have a sales of A, 10, so eight, as we can see, that's what the sales is. Let's see if it, we uh, filter it, uh, so sorry, sort it by client, and then sort it by ascending, so, so that it looks the same. So now, if I'm using the slicer from my client uh, slicer, which is a dimension table connected to the fact table, so if I select D, what is happening here is my other visuals, like this matrix visual is working. It's getting filtered because I want it to be get filtered. This is client selected, but I don't want this measure to be, uh, this visual to be filtered. So what is happening is in that case, this visual is uh, uh, showing all the clients and highlighting the one which we have selected. If we selected F, the F get highlighted. So we are comparing F with the other ones. Now. If I don't select anything, it's it's automatically highlight the G. The reason why it is doing that, if we go back to our uh, selected color, I think this uh, we used selected client color. So what we said here is in this one, if selected value of slicer, 
client slicer uh, which is on the x axis is equal to the so max of this one the problem here is the max of this one is a g and that's why the g is getting highlighted so if i change it to selected value here as well because what would happen if there's no value selected the selected value function will return blank and then it will not go into the true condition it will go into the false condition so i expected this to work here you go so when nothing is selected so we are not comparing anything but we when we select d so the one which is selected now it is working and uh, all right so this is this is what is working so we saw that with the disconnected table it was very very simple we just created a selected color measure and everything worked we highlighted that data point but if we want our main dimension to be used as a slicer because it has it can uh, filter other visuals on the page but the one with the comparison we don't want it to be filtered and this we saw the second technique how we can use a disconnected table and we have little bit did a tweak in our color function to if there's nothing was selected we change the max to the selected value and that was to for me to showcase how the max and the selected value can have a very different uh, working so we saw that uh, how we change the color measure a little bit and then when nothing is selected it does not highlight any data point in the in part two of this video what i'm going to do is uh, we are also going to extend it that we're going to put in what if parameter and we say okay i want to compare my selected uh, uh, client with other three top three clients so let's say if i say i select a and the, i want to compare outside a what are the other three top sales contributors are so I want my selected one to compare with the top three outside the one which I selected. So th that we will see in the part two of this series. We will use rank function and what if param uh, parameter to make that happen. Until next video, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe my channel. Bye for now. Thank you.